The esophagus is a long muscular tube that carries food from the mouth to the stomach. Contractions called peristalsis push food down the esophagus. At the bottom of the esophagus, food passes through a muscular valve called the lower esophageal sphincter, LES, into the stomach. This valve acts as a one-way gate, allowing food and liquid to pass from the esophagus into the stomach. And preventing stomach contents, including acid, from flowing back up. After the food enters the stomach, the lining of the stomach secretes a highly acidic juice called gastric juice. Stomach acid is incredibly strong. Its pH is around 1.3 to 3.5, about as acidic as battery acid. It comprises digestive enzymes, hydrochloric acid, and other substances important for absorbing nutrients. About three to four liters of gastric juice are produced daily. In such an acidic environment, the lining of the stomach has several clever adaptions to minimize damage and promote self-repair. The stomach lining produces a thick layer of mucus that acts as a physical barrier. This mucus layer separates the stomach acid from the wall, preventing direct contact. Also, specialized cells in the lining secrete bicarbonate. This bicarbonate helps neutralize some of the stomach acid, creating a slightly less acidic environment near the stomach wall. On the other hand, the stomach cells are constantly undergoing renewal. Stomach epithelial cells have a short lifespan and are regularly replaced by new ones with a new gut lining produced approximately every three days. This continuous renewal process helps repair any minor damage caused by stomach acid also. These cells are tightly packed together, forming a sort of seal. These tight junctions prevent stomach acid from seeping in between the cells and damaging deeper layers of the stomach wall. Stomach contractions mix food with gastric juice. This process is known as mechanical digestion. Then, the stomach contracts to move food, called chyme, into the intestine. These stronger, rhythmic waves start near the top of the stomach and intensify as they move towards the pyloric sphincter, effectively squeezing and pushing the chyme forward. At this point, the lower esophageal sphincter closes tightly to prevent these acidic juices from moving back into the esophagus, where they can cause damage. The esophageal lining is made up of a stratified squamous epithelium, a type of cell that's good at handling wear and tear from food passing through. However, it lacks the protective mechanisms found in the stomach lining. Sometimes, the LES weakens or relaxes inappropriately, allowing stomach acid to splash up into the esophagus. This is called acid reflux, or gastroesophageal reflux. When stomach acid reaches the esophagus, it can cause irritation and inflammation of the esophageal lining. This irritation leads to the uncomfortable burning sensation in the chest, known as heartburn, a hallmark symptom of GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, which is chronic or frequent acid reflux.
the small intestine also cannot handle such a high level of acidity. The small intestine's lining is covered in specialized cells responsible for nutrient absorption. These cells are delicate and easily damaged by the harsh acidity of stomach acid. On the other hand, the small intestine houses numerous enzymes that break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. These enzymes function best in a near-neutral pH environment around pH 6 to 7. Stomach acid's high acidity disrupts their activity and hinders nutrient absorption. As acidic chyme enters the small intestine, specifically the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine, it triggers the release of bicarbonate from the pancreas. This bicarbonate acts as a base, neutralizing the stomach acid and raising the pH level to a more neutral range, around pH 6 to 7. This helps to create a safe environment for the small intestine. Sometimes, the pH in the duodenum falls below a certain level due to stomach acid. In these cases, Cells there release a hormone called secretin. Secretin stimulates the pancreas to release more bicarbonate, further neutralizing the acid. Neutralizing the stomach acid creates an optimal environment for the enzymes to work. 